Hey there, everybody. Thank you so much for tuning in to another episode of 3B TV. I'm Brian. This is 3B Farm and Homestead here in beautiful, I don't know, psychotic upstate New York where Mother Nature seems to be drunk and needs to go home. It's snowing and it's mid April. Well, not quite mid April, early part of April. But uh, by now, we would expect it to be warming up, and the weatherman does say that it will be warming up soon. But that's not going to stop us. We're out here having some fun. Well, I don't know about having fun, but we're going to put in some work here in the garden, putting in some raised beds. Now, this area here has been our raised beds over the last several years. Um, you can see, though, that it's in need of a, a facelift. Um, we put this uh, section in seven or eight years ago, maybe longer than that ago, I don't know maybe even nine or ten years ago uh, would have been 2008 so that's what almost 10 years uh, that we put this in and uh, we started out with uh, two four by eight raised beds two four by four raised beds over here and we actually have a four by four way over there that really hasn't uh, gotten much love in the last couple of years um, in fact, that bed over there, it just never really has worked out very well for us. Had some strawberries over there. Then my neighbor, when he was helping me put in some cattle panels uh, for the pigs last summer, uh, backed into it with his trailer. And uh, so I'm not sure what we're going to do with that. But over in this section here, you can see that uh, I've got quite a bit of um, weeds growing up here. I've got some grass growing up. And... Um, this really wasn't spaced out very well. Uh, I've got a lot of uh, a lot of wasted space between the two beds, so we're going to fix that this year. You can also see here um, where the uh, beds have started to come apart, so we're going to fix that, and uh, we're going to actually take these beds, shift them that way, so there's only about 18 inches um, between these beds here so we're going to narrow this gap quite a bit so there's only going to be about 18 inches um, between the two and then this section here where we've got uh, four feet of in essence wasted space that we've had to weed and maintain we're actually going to uh, fill that in um, I've got some boards that we're going to put in here and so we're going to turn this into a 4 by 16 bed and another 4 by 16 bed over here and then what we're going to do is uh, we are going to build some new um, beds using this pine and these are going to be 4 by uh, 12 um, so we're going to be a little more a little shorter beds but um, should work out very well a little deeper this was originally built using cedar decking um, so it's only about six inches deep not really all that deep um, we're going to change that up using that uh, 2 by 12 um, uh, pine there so that's the plan not going to obviously get it all done today in fact today we're actually only going to assemble those beds um, we're just going to screw them together and uh, then over this coming week I've got some wood chips on the way that we will actually be um, putting around these beds and uh, we will also um, be moving these beds a little bit that way so uh, that's our plan for our garden space uh, this year also going to be doing some straw bale gardening and uh, so going to be picking those up maybe this evening um, if not uh, tomorrow um, or Tuesday evening I'll be picking up those straw bales so anyhow all of that to say let's get going and uh, get these beds put together so uh, let's go
So what we're doing here is uh, we're putting these like that. So the uh, outside end is going, like up, going up against the, the uh, edge piece here, butting up against there um, to make it stronger. Um, that way when the, the dirt is going to be pressing on the outside of this, um, it's not going to be just pressing on the, the screw itself, but there'll be some strength in it. So go ahead, Brian. There we go. So that's it. Good job. Running the power tools. Woohoo! Okay, so the next thing we're going to do here, we're going to go ahead and put these up against this. This uh, ground here isn't very level. Um, I'm okay with that. We'll fix it. Uh, this is going to be the final resting place for this anyhow. Um, we're just putting these together and then we'll be able to move them to where we want. Um, but I wanted to go ahead and uh, get them assembled today so I have a bit of a feel for whether or not we need to have them on this side or if we're going to put some also um, to the north. of uh, This is kind of heading south, that's heading north. And uh, so trying to figure out which way I want to orient them. But, uh, anyhow, we're going to go ahead and put the uh, end on them right now. So let's get, get rocking. There we go. One raised, no, I'm good. One raised bed built right there. So uh, we'll actually go ahead and move that one uh, out of the way. Or we may just, no, we'll build off to the side. So we'll build over to that, that way and we'll just kind of get them going that way. So we uh, I have them all together. So here we go. So good, things are coming together real well. We're gonna put this in on. Mother Nature is kind of uh, being a little psychotic. We're uh, getting some raised beds built here. We're going to go ahead and um, get those uh, moved this week. At uh, some point, we're going to go ahead and uh, get all of that area there cleaned up and things moved around. Redo those beds, kind of get them tightened back up. I'm going to get an order for some compost put in to get delivered. Got some wood chips coming this week. So I definitely wanted to get these built out so I knew kind of how I wanted to lay this out. Um, the tires are going to go. Uh, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with those um, yet, but uh, they're going to be moved out of the center. And uh, So anyhow, that's uh, our project for today. Just building up, assembling those raised beds so that this week we will be able to hopefully get them filled and we're going to move this stuff around. But uh, it's snowing, it's cold. 
we're going to go back inside. So until next time, everybody, thanks for tuning in. Please like, share, and subscribe to B3B TV. <laughs> All right, let's try that again. So until next time, everybody, please like, share, and subscribe to 3B TV. And we'll catch you later.